Am I right? Oh, give me a second, please. All right, tell me when y'all ready. All right, uh, just you know, first off, just so very proud of our football team. Um, you know, we've talked about it, you know, since we, since we started back in January. You know, it's about uh, the investment, the work, the relationships. Uh, you know, we're, we've got a very confident football team in times of adversity because they, they know they've invested work. And, you know, I thought that tonight, you know, even with the adversity that showed up, you know, guys were down. Um, some guys were not available, didn't make the trip, you know, some of our best football players. Uh, but tonight our guys, you know, they just, they willed themselves to victory. Um, you know, I'm so proud of uh, Tate Rodemaker. You know, uh, I, I, knew we, I knew we could win with Tate. Knew we could win with Tate. And I've seen it in practice. I've seen him work. I've seen him so much invest and be prepared for the moment. He got put in a challenging, in a challenging situation on the road. But... He just went out there and responded there in the second half. You know, it is just an uh, incredible example for, for what this team is built on. And uh, I'm just so proud of uh, our, our players, our coaches. I mean, it was a, it's a special night. That's one that, that I will remember forever because, I mean, it was an a incredible atmosphere that, you know, having to play in. A lot of adversity that showed up. But, you know, we talk about that heart. We talk about the identity, and, and the identity of Florida State football showed up tonight on a national stage. And so I'm just proud of our team. Um, you know, I, got, you know I, I want to give credit to Louisville. That was an incredible, incredible game. Um, they have some tremendous players. Those guys compete hard. It was uh, a physical, tough, you know, back and forth with, with the coaches, uh, you know, schematically. I mean, it was, a, it was just a fun game to be a part of. And I'm just so happy for our guys that at the end, it just took one more play. Same thing that showed up in the Superdome a few weeks ago. We got we got our one more play, and uh, with that, I'll take questions. What was it like to see Johnny step up and make the play? Yeah, I mean it's you know Johnny has been incredible. You know, through, I mean just his growth from spring practice to this fall. We believe we got a special player there. Um, you know, we've got you know he sees the moment, man. You know his size, his speed. Uh, you know, going and attacking the ball. It was um, really, really an impressive performance. You take put the ball in great places for him, and uh, you know to see those two connecting. I mean, that's that's what it's all about. And you know, a lot of guys showed up big tonight. I mean, it was a uh, it was a it was a fun fun performance uh, for our football team. Just when when guys you know seize the moment and. We tell them you never know when your number's going to be called, but you've got to be ready. And to, to see guys, uh, you know, Trey Benson there in the second half, some of those runs were, were, were incredible. You know, Trey Ward continues just, I mean, an, an incredible leader for us. You know, guys on the offensive line that had to battle, playing different positions, you know, moving around. Uh, the defensive front, I mean, Patrick Payton, you know, coming in for Jared, um, you know, when he went down and just, you know, the Ray with Fabian not playing tonight. I mean, we got really into our depth at D-tackle uh, just across our whole team. I can't, it's hard to point out any – I mean, it was, it was a, a heck of a response. And, um, you know, just once again, really proud of them. And, and I thought, but, yes, Johnny did an exceptional job. I just keep playing. Trust your eyes. Trust your feet. You know, go out there and you know, trust your training. That's that's the reality of it. What what he did tonight, I've seen before. I've seen before. Now it's not been on Friday night national television, but I, I like I said at the beginning, I knew we could win with Tate, and for him to go out in the second half, being down on the road, hostile environment, and he just kept playing. And, you know, that was something, like I said, it was special. I need a report on, on, on Travis. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, you know, it was un unavailable to come back in the game. Um, you know, we'll get back home and be able to, uh, to reevaluate that. But, um, you know, Leg that injury, knee, no, it was unavailable. Okay. Mike, with, uh, with Tate, the first pass, I think, was an intentional grounding and then a pretty bad interception going into halftime. What did you tell him in that moment at halftime because – didn't look great those first two drives, and what changed? Well, I mean, he, he, he took a deep breath. You know, you're, you're sitting there, and, like, that's part of this game. There's emotion in this game. It's, you know, he, he got put in a you know, challenging situation, and, you know, it didn't go great at the beginning. Um, 
but ultimately he took a deep breath at halftime. You know, we, we knew the plan of what, what we wanted to do, and uh, he went out there and executed flawlessly there in the second half. I mean, his, even, even on some of the incompletions that he threw, it was just like he was, he was in control. He was in control in that second half, and I thought he did a remarkable job. He just played football, and that's the guy is a good football player. And I mean, like I said, I get to watch it every day. And you know, we've got one of the best quarterbacks in the country in Jordan Travis, and you know, Tate and, and AJ and those guys. The way that they compete, uh, the ability that they have. I mean, you you just never know. And and I mean, that's you know, that's why you play this game. That's why you coach this game for times like this when your number's called and you get to rise up and just go show people how you respond, especially when it doesn't go well. How big was it for him to just get a good play? To throw to Johnny in the middle of the field. How, how big was it just for him to do that in the game? It's that's part of the deep breath, <laughs> you know. I mean, it's like you, uh, you know, you want it so bad, and you know, ultimately he's, you know, taken absolutely a spin of football, and you know, we've known that, and he's, you know, he's shown that time over time, and you know, but uh, you his preparation, you know, the things that we had in the game plan that he was able to go out and execute, and it's even some of the checks and things that that we were able to to, uh, to put in, but you know, when he got out there and just. Did what he did in practice, and you know, when I, once you you connect on the deep ball to Johnny, you know it it probably puts you in a lot more comfortable situation, and um, you know, and then he just continued to be our quarterback for the for that game and bringing us back to uh, to victory. I know uh, he was probably spending more time talking to you or talking to Coach Tokars up in the box, but. Uh... We said, but what was Jordan doing? I mean, was Jordan talking to him? Was Jordan? How was Jordan staying involved? It seemed like he was. Absolutely, to and and I told Jordan at halftime when I, you know when I when I knew that he was going to be uh, that he wasn't going to be available in the second half. Um, you know, I told Jordan, I said, all right, you got a job to do. It's no no. Everybody has a role. And Jordan is special when he's in it, it, on that football field in between the white lines. He's special when he's off the, on the sideline too. Like the impact that he makes, his encouragement, his. I mean, these guys are brothers. They care about each other. I've said that since. You know, we started fall camp. You, you asked me about what I thought the identity was of, of who these guys were. They are a family. They care. And, you know, even though Jordan couldn't make a play in the second half on the field, he was definitely there to help support his guys right, off the field. And that's what, that's what this is about. That's the, that's the thing that makes Florida State special. It is the people. And, yes, they're incredibly talented young men. And they can, they're, they're growing up. And we're still at the beginning of our journey. Just, I mean, that's the, the mistakes we made. We, we've got a lot to clean up. But, you know, what matters to me is that our character, our, our, our identity, the foundational elements of this program, man, we're showing what we're about. And, you know, when guys can't go on the field, right, when they're not available, but they're still making an impact, that's what, that's what makes it special. Where does that come from, like, the, the identity, the ability to respond? That's something you've seen for months, if not a year now. I guess, how have you guys built that? We coach them really hard. We hold them to very high standards, right? I'm not talking about standards that are just out there on the field, right? The standard we hold them off the field, in the classroom, in the community. Every day, the focus and the purpose is to be their best, right? It, it, tonight wasn't about Louisville. Last couple of weeks wasn't about LSU. It wasn't about anybody else. What I care about is that Florida State football and the young men I get to coach can go out there every day and put their best foot forward. And then when they get knocked down, when they have a bad moment, how they get up and how they respond. Uh, this program is not for everybody, but for the ones that are in that locker room, it's for them because they embrace that challenge. Because whenever you find yourself down in the second half, right, and and you know on the road and all the all the emotion and everything that's there, they can focus in on one play. They can look at the guy that's next to him and know you know what they, they've been through it with them, from our tour of duty to our winter program, summer summer workouts, all those things. It just puts you in position. It doesn't guarantee success. Hard work does not guarantee success but it dang sure puts you in the best position to achieve it. And that's what these guys are doing. And the, the focus next week will be on us to go get better. Now, we got to heal up. we got a lot of things that we're going to have to continue to, to, to grow and improve on and, and, and all of it. But I know the team I coach. I know the guys I work with. And I can promise you we're going to work our butts off to make sure that when we step on the field the next time, we're better than what we were today. What did you think of wake up from the defense? And how much did the absence of Fabian – I mean, it's that is a. I mean, that is a very talented offense. I mean, playing at home. I mean, you could you could just feel. I mean, that, that Malik Cunningham is a special player, and you know those running backs that ran hard. Receivers made plays. I mean, it was a it was a challenge, and they got you know there were some plays that they had, and but but ultimately we were able to start. We created some takeaways, and that we knew that was going to be big in this game. They were going to make some plays, 
But ultimately, if we could, if we could make those explosives of, of being able to get the ball back, how about the fourth down stop? Uh, you know, the, you know it, in the sequence before the, the second to last drive. I mean, those 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 moments, man. The guys just froze up, and I, I'm just so proud of them. Uh, you know, I thought our defense, you know, really played hard. Um, you know, there were some times we had bad communication. Some guys, you know, just with all the right intention, with all the right intentions, you know, we got to continue to, uh, to 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 put that best foot forward. But um, you know, I'm, I'm just they found a way. And at the end of the, at the end of the day, the defense was on the field and they needed a stop, and they went and got that stop. How many guys do you think you need to evaluate injury wise when you get back to Tallahassee? I mean, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, it's it's a physical game. I mean, it's it's part of it, and so uh, we'll get back. We'll we'll see where everybody's at, and um, you know, we'll go from there. Uh, but I, I promise you, our team they'll 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 get up. They'll they'll push. They'll fight to do everything that they can do. The guys that couldn't finish, finish the game, I promise you they're going to push to do everything they can do to be available next week. And if not, then then as quick as possible because they're going to put in work. You made an emphasis on how the team responded after LSU. Now after a win like this, how do you want? Get better. Enjoy it. Man, uh, you hear it in the locker room. Right? I mean, I want them to enjoy this. This is – you compete for these moments. When we get home, you know, we'll, we'll go and look at it. Uh, you know, I'm going to give them off tomorrow. So they'll, they'll all be having treatments, just so you know. But uh, uh, Sunday we're going to come back, and, and we will – we'll go back to work. Right? We'll, learn, we'll learn from the mistakes. We'll, we'll celebrate the, the good things that were done. But, you know, ultimately, you know, the objective will never change here. You know, I'm expecting them to step on that field Sunday better than they've ever stepped on that field. And then we get, Lord willing, we get to Tuesday, we're going to go be better than what we've been. And that's, that is the message. And, you know, you guys, especially local guys, are out there, you know, on our bye week practice. At, we had one day that was average, right? And I let them know it was average. And then they let me know that they were going to respond, right, because that's not who they are. And do I think that helped us? Win? Do I think that helped us win today? You're dang right, I do. Right? And I, I just I'm, I believe in the character of this team. I love coaching this team. And you know, where that takes us, you know, we're going to continue to work. And but it's a special night and special performance by our football team, our coaches, and you know, I, I do want to give a shout out to all the all the uh, Seminole family that was here. I mean, unbelievable turnout. I mean, when when you sit there in the third and fourth quarter and you hear that war chant playing. I like having to hear people boo because our because our fans are making a, making that type of impact. So I appreciate everybody that made the trip to Louisville. That was special tonight. Thank you. Oh, that was like my exit. I literally. I mean, if somebody has another question, Derek is gonna. I mean, Derek wants more. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, guys.